G'day. Something I'd like to show you is this little product here called a Speedy Stitcher sewing awl. Now, I've been doing sort of leather works for about 20 years, and actually my first business was um, Drifter Leather Products. Now, you might have seen these belts on all my videos. Um, that's a little knife pouch and a belt, and I've been making those for about 20 years. I learned how to do those on the cattle stations up in North Queensland. So, along with that, I've done I sort of right into leather work and that sort of thing. And basically, this little kit here is something that I carry with me all the time. You can see here I've got buckles, I've got this is all roo, kangaroo hide. Now I've got enough there to plait several belts. This is a plaiting cream that I use. We make that up out ourselves, and that's um, that's beef dripping and uh, and soap. So we use that for plaiting. Anyway, you can see I've got a lot of tools and bits and pieces there on me leather gear. And again, something that I, we always carry is this leather roll. Now I come across these because this is used for uh, you know stitching saddles and things like that. I used to do a lot of that. Um, you can see it's just basically a large needle and uh, a wax cotton thread. But the advantage, the, the thing with this is you can sew leather or canvas. Now, uh, the, the reason it's handy to carry with you is because many of you got camping trailers and things like that. Just say for example, um, you know, some stitching on your trailer come away or broke or anything at all to do with the canvas, you can't really uh, get it fixed unless you take the tent off the camper. That's a really big deal. Very hard to, you know, to take the camper off the trailer. Now just say, for example, one of the little eyelets that holds the peg down or something like that, you know, broke away. That's one of the only things you can use to stitch it up, and they work really well. Um, so, I've got these on the website, and uh, that's the little box there we're selling. So they're imported from America. You can see they're sort of made for leather work. Um, now what we're doing is selling it with a, um, it comes with um, thread inside there, alright, so it's about 20 metres of it, it's special wax cotton thread inside there ready to go. There's uh, three needles inside here as well, alright, you pretty much only need the one needle, and that's it there, the straight one. And, you know, you just um, whack that needle through. And you can so I've also put in some extra, there's an extra 30 metres of wax cotton thread. So that's what comes in the kit. Now if you've got one of those, you can literally sew anything, you know, any ripped canvas around the door, around the windows, anything like that, quite easily. Leather, this sort of, we, me and Cotter do a lot of leather work as well. This is all kangaroo hide. Okay, now we can cut that out with a pair of scissors and we can sew that up however we like. And we'll show you that a little bit later on. So what I've got today is uh, I've got a small repair I want to do. And there's a little, a little, uh, this a little uh, gutter, a canvas gutter that I've been basically making up tonight, today. It's been raining, and there's a small gap here between the awning and the tent and haven't quite figured out exactly how to fix that. Uh, today it's been raining and I've just figured it out. So we're making a small gutter, similar to this gutter here. That works quite well, so when your rain comes down there, it runs off. I've actually just cut this one up here at a bit of canvas I had, but I'd like to sew a bit of Velcro under there. And then that'll uh, attach up here like this, okay? Now with a speedy stitcher, I can do that really easily. And I'll show you how to do that. Alright, so basically you pull out a length of the thread and I want to sew that onto there, right? Poke it through. You pull the wax cotton thread right through. Now make sure you've got enough for what you want to do. Pull it out. And you'll be careful not to stab yourself. And back in again. Now once you've gone through there, just pull him back a little bit. Put that through the loop. And you want to pull that knot 
inside between the two bits of material. And now you just work your way along. Alright. So you could do that as far as you like. Again, you know the you might have an awning that's got a small tear in it, or you want to try and get that neat as you can those stitches. Yeah, you might have an awning that's got a tear. Um, you know, a lot of these cheap Chinese trailers, I mean, you know, they just you get rips and tears all over the place on those. And you go to a lot of canvas places, you might only want a small small patch sewn up around the window. A lot of canvas guys won't, won't touch a Chinese trailer um, because, you know, it's just too much muck around and they, they'll tell you, you know, they sew a bit here and it'll rip somewhere else. Plus the thing is to get it on their sewing machine, they've got to pull really the tent off the trailer. And that's a huge job. So again with one of these things you can just do it yourself really easy. It might take you, you know, half an hour or 20 minutes, but that's you know something you can do on the job. Now these things, you know, they don't cost very much and it's just really handy to have in your kit. Righto, so I'll just finish this off and uh, show you how to finish the loop. Okay, now to finish off, just poking through, you can see I've um, stitched that up. Now yeah, it's a bit rough, not very neat at all, but uh, that's going to hold on there and that'll stay there forever. So you poke it through, give yourself a bit of uh, spare thread, snip that off. Now you want to poke that through close to where the last stitch was. All right. Now all you do then is just, I'm not a upholsterer or a seamstress, <laughs> but all I do is tie a double knot. There may be better ways of doing this. And then we'll just put a little dab of super glue on that. And that'll, uh, that'll mean it'll never come undone. Okay, right, so we've done double knot. Trim those off. Now that'll pr pretty much stay there, but this thread can, you know, uh, sort of fray. So you can see that. I'll put a dab of super glue on there. Alright. And that's it. There you can see again, yeah, very rough. But so that's done the job. And if you didn't have that speeder stitcher, you know, there's no way you could do that. So it's a very handy little tool. Not very expensive, you'll have it forever. Okay, so that's a speeder stitcher. They're on our website and just a very handy little unit to have. Thanks very much. Okay, we've been showing you the speeder stitcher and I wanted to show you some of the things that you can make with it. Now this here is all kangaroo hide. Okay, it's beautiful leather and you can make almost anything with it. This is something Kaido made when he was seven years old. You can see his uh, stamp that in there. You know, kids love to make little pouch and, pouches and things. You can see the stitching there. Okay, and the speedy stitcher is sort of the only thing you can use really to do that. So that's just a handy little pouch. You know, he's got a little press stud there. And also you can see he's got some nice little uh, lacing on the outside. Now all that lacing's done with 4.7mm um, uh, kangaroo hide. Alright, so that's what you also use uh, for plating belts and things. Um, so we've just uh, stitched around the outside which makes a nice edge. Here's another little pouch he makes. Again, kids love to have little pouches for putting things in. You know, a pocket knife fits in there, a notebook, whatever, but you know, that'll last literally forever. And um, you can see the stitching is done around there, it's quite neat. Alright, just to fold an edge and also to create those pockets. There's another thing kind of made, and that's just for a small, um, small pocket knife pouch. Right, so you can see, very simple. That's just cut out, just a long piece there, fold it over, and stitch down the side uh, to make it look nice. with stitch around the edge as well. So you can see that's a great little project. A little bit of stitching on the back, and make a beautiful little knife pouch. Another thing we've made a lot of is uh, passport cases. And we'll probably try and get a few of these for sale later on. 
Um, you see Kiami Luke, Kaido Japan and Australia. Your password just slips inside that. There's no stitching in there, but that's just all lacing. Very easy to make. And you put your password in there, so that's really nice. You can make wallets, all sorts of things. And here's another thing I kind of made the other day. You know, he's got some new thrower knives, you know, as you do. And, um, see that there. So, yeah, it's just a very handy little tool. Um, great for hobbies. And also, you know, very handy to have in the truck or the trailer. I'll show you, that's a, a hide of a kangaroo hide, alright, so if you bought one of those, you know, you can make all sorts of things, you can use every little bit of it, and, um, you know, something like that would cost probably 80 or 90 bucks, it's all tanned, and you can also tan your own, Is you can tan your own if you, you know, if you're good enough, um, but, you know, I always keep a few of those around, and, um, that's the sort of hide you would use. So, you know, if you get a roll, you want a 50 meter roll of 4.7 mil roux hide lacing, just like that. Um, and, you know, a hide of leather, and um, one of those little speedy stitches, and then you can make a lot of things. And again, great to have in the back of your truck or in your camper. So the kit we're selling again has got a speedy stitcher and, a, and an extra roll of, of the wax cotton thread. There is already some in here, comes with it, and it's got the needles inside. Right, eh? so just to give you a bit of an idea, and um, great little product. Thanks very much.